I'm here. I'm happy you're here. I'd like to thank AFI for including this film in this wonderful festival. I'd also, I'd also like to thank uh, Michael Barker and Tom Bernard at Sony Pictures Classics who've been fantastically supportive and have embraced the film for its North American birth. Um, and that's been great to feel their support. The first thing to say, this is a true story. Um, it's based, The Invisible Woman, the film, is based on a, a book of the same name, uh, written by a great biographer, Claire Tomlin, who studied, who researched the life of this young girl, Nellie Turner, a young actress, who met Dickens when she was 18. And he pursued her amorously, and subsequently left his family, separated from his wife, and kept her, or lived, didn't live with her, but she was kept as his mistress. And that's the story of the film. Um, she also went on and remade, rebuilt her life, reclaimed her life after Dickens' death. I was drawn to this project because of the story of Ellen Turner. I didn't know much about Charles Dickens. I was familiar with his books mostly through adaptation. What, what moved me to make it was her, her story and who she was. And what was it like for this young woman to have received the sort of amorous intent of Dickens and the choices that she was faced with as a woman in, in repressive Victorian society, what was it like for her? And that's, that, was, that was the motivating thing.